We've had an awesome time in Plettenberg Bay out shooting pictures, doing some relaxing, kind of enjoying our last couple days here in South Africa. And today we're packing up the hotel and we're heading down the coast to wilderness. Driven just under an hour to Nysna. We thought we had more days than we do on the garden route, but our flight out of here actually leaves at midnight, which is always confusing because the flight leaves on the 15th, but it's actually the night of the 14th. So we didn't have an extra night. We planned on maybe spending a night in Nysna here because it's cool. But on the way to Wilderness, we thought at least, at the very least, we'd stop in and check out this viewpoint because there is a pretty phenomenal view of this place. So that's what we're doing. I'm a little bit choked actually that we didn't uh, get a day here because I didn't see this side last time I was here in Nice Now, which would have been five years ago. But there's a seascape photography playground right behind me down there. There's beach, there's rocks, there's crashing waves. There's even like these bridges made out right down there across some of the rocks, which would have been perfect for my client. This is a seascape photography playground. Absolute gold. Already planning another trip back to South Africa and already have a full itinerary. <laughs> So we made it to Wilderness and we've been pretty behaved on our budget recently. So I decided that we should splurge considering we only have a couple days left and we don't have a whole lot of expenses for the next couple months. And I decided to splurge, as I said, here on our accommodation just outside of Wilderness. I can't remember the name of this place. It's called Sanadu Dune Lodge or something like that. Paid 110 euros for this incredible place. I'm gonna flip you around to show you the rest. Out there you've got the beach. Let me change the exposure so you can see. Oh, look at that view. Over here you've got Jody working in her little office space. And then we've got our own balcony out here too. Just absolutely awesome. And uh, I really probably should go and take pictures this afternoon, but I kind of just feel like having a vacation. It kind of feels like the weather's turning on us for the worst right now. But I really wanted to fly my good friend Fido off the deck here, so I'm gonna do that. The weather's, like I said, taking a bit of a turn. It's not that it's miserable, it's not that it's raining, it's just that it's overcast. And to be honest, miserable weather and like really rainy weather is usually better for photography than uh, this kind of overcast, dull look. So I don't think there's gonna be any photography this afternoon, uh, but who knows. I do think that I'll take the time at the end of this video right now to do some housekeeping and to talk about some things. Namely, what's going on in the future because there's some big changes about to happen. And second of all, my hat. And actually, maybe I'll talk about the hat first. 
people love or hate the hat. In fact, every single video, there's at least two people saying, I hate your hat. People are saying, you're not 12 years old, stop wearing a hat, and if you wear it, put it the right way around. Which I find totally ironic because I haven't met anybody since I was 12 that told another person how they should dress or what's cool to dress. So irony aside, I love the hat. There's people that do love the hat and there's people that have wanted BBS hats. So sales pitch, I've made like some hats available. Basically what happened is I decided I wanted to give hats away on my photo workshop. So anybody that comes on a photo workshop now gets a hat, but of course it's cheaper to put in an order for like a bunch of hats, like a bunch. So I ordered a hundred which means I have about 70 available for people if they want them. And they're available on my website. If you click the link in the description, it'll take you to the page that shows you what the hat looks like and you can buy it there. There's like, like I said, there's 70 made available. I think there's only 40 left or something like that after I posted in my Facebook group about them. Now, enough about hats, enough about clothing, enough sales, the future. The future is important and sorry about the sound of the sea, but it's loud and echoey, I know. Hopefully you can forgive me for that. The future. The future is changing. Changing hemispheres, even. We have tonight here in Wilderness. Tomorrow we're meeting up with Greg and Nelly, actually, in Hermanus, near to Cape Town for one night. Greg and I have a big announcement to make. I'm not sure if that'll be on the next episode or the episode after, but there's an announcement coming. Then, the following day, Jody and I are catching a flight back to the UK. We're spending the holidays in the UK, but we're not taking much of a vacation. We have so much planned and so much to do. Basically, as soon as we get back, I'm doing a talk in, uh, in the north of England at Gary, oh man, I'm terrible with how to pronounce names, Gary Goff. Gary Goff's um, studio. He hosts lots of talks. He's hosted Thomas Heaton there before. He's hosted lots of really interesting photographers. I think there's even a couple tickets available for that left too. Um, I think I'll put a link to that in the description as well. So if you wanna come see me in the UK, come see me and we'll talk for a bit. After that presentation, I'm gonna drive even farther north to go see Tom because I'm in the area, why not go hang out with Thomas Heaton for a couple days? And more importantly, go hang out with Thomas Heaton's dog, Monty. We're gonna go do that for a night or two. Then we've been invited to the YouTube Christmas party in London, which is crazy. I'm probably gonna shoot some photography in London as well. Then I actually have an assignment in Scotland with Visit Britain. I have like a five day assignment. I can't even remember where I'm going. Inverness for sure, Glencoe for sure. I'm, yeah, it's gonna be awesome. I'm dying to go to Scotland in the winter time. I think it'll be really, really cool figuratively and literally. And I'm actually spending New Year's in Edinburgh, which is crazy. And then directly after New Year's, we're heading to Iceland, where I have the photography workshop in Iceland with my boy Ivan Thor Olofsson, as well as Greg's gonna be there, Jody's gonna be there, and it's just gonna be an awesome time. And then after that, we're heading back to the Philippines, where we're gonna be based for two months. We're gonna be based in Manila, but we're gonna be running all over the place throughout the Philippines and maybe even doing a trip to Taiwan. So I'm stoked. Everything's exciting coming up. There's just so much good stuff over the next two months coming up. I know that probably some of you are getting tired of the wildlife photography day after day after day. I'm not. I loved it. I could shoot wildlife photography for months, but I am looking forward to something a little bit different with some landscape photography as well. Some cold weather destinations with Iceland, Scotland, and Norway in March. It's just gonna be good coming up. Lots of landscape, lots of travel photography, and I think that's it. Like I said, the weather's overcast. It doesn't look like it's gonna break. So I'm just gonna end it there. And I'll see you guys on tomorrow's episode as we go down to Hermanus, meet up with Greg and Nelly, and probably take some pictures. I'll see you there. Peace.